everybody. How are you? It's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad you could join me today. We're going to take a little uh, trek back in time. We're going to talk about rulers. Do you guys remember second grade learning how to read a ruler? Yeah, it's been a while. At least for me, it sure has. I have got just this fabulous oversized ruler. We're going to go over all those measurements. If you struggle with Where's an eighth? Where's a sixteenth? Do I even need a sixteenth? Yes, we're going to cover everything you need to know about how to read a ruler. And I'm also going to bring in the brand new paper trimmer and show you exactly where you're going to be able to find all those measurements on your brand new paper trimmer. Are you ready to get started? So I've got an oversized ruler here. My goodness, this thing is huge. It is going to represent one inch. All right, so there's one to two. That is a one inch mark. So some basic things to remember about reading a ruler. And some of these are going to be the obvious. In between is half. Yes, that is our one half inch mark. And um, you notice this line is a little bit shorter than the lines up here. The lines are going to get shorter the smaller our measurements go. So there's half inch. Now let's take it down again. And that's going to take us to our quarter inches. Now if you do any baking, these probably make sense. You would have uh, a quarter, a half, three quarters, and a cup, right? All right, so that one hopefully is going to be a very simple one. One quarter, one half, and three quarters. Where many of us have trouble is when we start getting into the eighths and the sixteenths, am I right? Okay, so let's talk about those. You notice those lines get a little shorter again. And my tip to help you to remember the eighths is you're gonna count in odd numbers. One, three, five, and seven. So one eighth, three eighths, five eighths, and seven eighths. I hope that counting in the odd numbers helps. Now, in paper crafting, we don't use the sixteenths a lot, but I do wanna go ahead and talk about them because there will be times that you're gonna want those. So again, look at that, line shorter. So now we're gonna use that same odd method and we're gonna count one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. Yep, all of those in the sixteenths measurements. All right, now that you've seen them on the big ruler, how about we bring in the paper trimmer and let me show you where you can find these measurements on your paper trimmer. To make it easier to see, I'm going to remove this bar because I want you to be able to easily see, and I'm gonna zoom my camera in so that we can see just the same thing we did on that um, paper ruler. There's my one to two. All right, so where is our half inch? Right here in the middle. And you notice there's a line so if I bring my cardstock in, I have a line right there at my half inch mark. We move out from those half inch marks and we're gonna to go to our quarter inch marks. Oh, look at that. We have a line for our quarter inches. So that tells me that all of these marks here are quarter inch marks. I hope that helps you. Now let's get into those tricky ones. We're gonna get into those eights. So, we have, remember we talked about the, the little smaller lines, and that would be these right here. This little one, this little bitty guy, that's my 16th. Yeah. So let's count them off. We have one inch, we have one 16th, we have one and an eighth, and we have three 16ths, and then one quarter of an inch. Look at all that in there. So if you do need some little tiny measurements, those lines are on your uh, paper trimmer, but just remember these here, these are all separated by a quarter of an inch. I hope that my giant ruler was helpful to you today. Hey, if you're like me, I'm kind of a visual person. I like my visuals. If you would like to download my giant ruler and have this available in your paper crafting to help you, especially when it comes to that one, three, five, you know, all those little eights and sixteenths, you can find this free download at simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the November 12th, 2019 blog post. There's a place there that'll say, click here for the download. Download? Well, click there for my free download and you can print off your own giant ruler. 
Guys, the new paper trimmer is now available to everyone. If you are ready to order your new paper trimmer, head over to simplysimplestamping.com and just look for that again, the November 12th, 2019 blog post. I'll have a link there where you can click it and you'll be able to order your new paper trimmer. Guys, this thing is fantastic. Hey, if you haven't seen my video about the new paper trimmer and all the features and why I love it more than anything else, uh, click the link up there in the corner and you can see the video that I shared last week featuring the new paper trimmer. I hope that today's video was helpful to you. Listen, if you're anything like me, you still struggle with measurements. I mean, second grade was like something years ago. And yeah, we do tend to forget how those measurements work. So be sure to download and print out that giant ruler. Keep it handy. I think you're going to find that it's really going to be useful when you're doing your paper crafting. Thanks again for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, I would love a thumbs up on YouTube. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click that great big red subscribe button and get notifications whenever I'm back with a new video. Guys, have a fabulous day and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.